Those fine no, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. I call the Honourable Member Reno Terakatani. Kia ora, Mr. Chair. Thank you uh, for the opportunity to uh, make a contribution at this committee stage uh, on this bill. And, sir, it is, uh, it is really unfortunate that we are wasting parliamentary time and resources on this really redundant piece of legislation, sir, because the prohibition of gang insignia in government premises bill, sir, is a totally ridiculous piece of legislation. It is unnecessary. It has already covered, the, these situations are already covered by existing laws. Um, and so it's just, a, it's a really is a waste of time. And, and it's actually quite an embarrassment, really, that the government has put this up, this member's bill up, um, to occupy a parliamentary time, which we'd much rather spend on more productive things for our um, country, sir. But, sir, I want to um, start off with saying that I... I do a lot of work, obviously. I've got a very big patch down there in the South Island, and, and my good colleague there, Mr Mitchell, uh, was referring to Marlborough, the great uh, region of Marlborough, to Tauihu, the top of the South, which isn't exactly known as the most sort of racially harmon harmonious region of New Zealand, uh, what with their Marlborough Express uh, uh, cartoons of, of recent times here. But um, I, I was just interested, because I wanted to take this opportunity, sir, to... to um, display some people that I know, and I, I know it probably won't be able to be viewed by, uh, by the people at large, but, but he, he, here's, a, here's a Māori man with, um, he's Māori, he's wearing a, he's wearing a motorcycle jacket, there's, there's all sorts of insignias and, and other um, badges on this jacket, uh, oh there's even a tino, te tino rangatira tanga, oh there's even a tino rangatira tanga badge on there. Um, and uh, he, this, is an ex this is an example. If you saw this gentleman, if you saw this gentleman in a um, in, a, in a, an emergency room, and a uh, yeah. sir, if this gentleman, if this gentleman was seen in an emergency room of a public hospital, or from maybe in the um, the grounds of a courts or justice building, or that this potentially this gentleman here could trigger the provisions of the prohibition of gang insignia in government premises bill, sir. And it could activate the powers of the state to call in the police constable to come and uh, assess whether this gentleman here uh, is part of an organisation or a gang that is listed uh, in, um, in the appropriate section with the specified gangs that are all listed there in the, uh, in the relevant sections there. But this, this is an example, I guess, of what, what I guess the, the, the government would, would like to prevent. Uh, uh, and I'll show another one, sir. We've got, um, oh, well, let me take, let me, let me pick this, this one here. I'm very good friends with this gentleman here. Again, Māori, wearing a, a motorcycle jacket, part of a chapter, um, and, uh, oh, oh, he's, he, he's, he's, even, he's even got an Arab-looking scarf wrapped around his neck. That, 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 could, have al that, could, have, that could have very negative connotations, sir. Oh, it, it's, very, it's very intimidatory. Very intimidatory, sir. But, sir, the gang that this man belongs to, Mr Saban, the gang that this man belongs to is Rangitane Kiwairo in the Marlborough Sound, sir. He is the chief, he was an iwi leader, he is an iwi leader of Rangitane, Te Wairo, Kitatoi Huotawaka, an upstanding citizen. And the other gentleman that I, that I mentioned, sir, he is a highly decorated, a highly decorated soldier who has served our country. Absolutely. On the face of it, what would a member of the public think? Perhaps. It, it, it fits the profile, Order. Mr Sabin. It fits the profile. And it just makes a mockery of this ridiculous piece of legislation, sir, because the other members that... Uh, I, could, I could display a lot of pictures, but the thing is, sir, these, gen these gentlemen are part of the chapter of the Patriots Defence Force MC Motorcycle Club. But, sir... But, sir... They fit the profile of what you are trying to, of what you, they would activate the suspicion, potentially, of this 
ridiculous piece of legislation. Oh, yes, they would. And the thing is, sir, the thing is, sir, is that those gentlemen there, Mr. Sink, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, I call Mr. Chair, honourable Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, the thing is, sir, is that those upstanding citizens, those upstanding citizens, do an actually tremendous amount of work on their Harley Davidsons, on their big revved up, scary looking, big burly bikes, up and down the country every November, White Ribbon Month, spreading the message that violence against women is a terrible thing and we've got to stamp this out. It, it, it doesn't matter that they're not listed in there, Mr. Sabin. Do you think that everything has to be prescribed? That you can cover every situation, every gang situation, because it is, it is, because it is set out in the definition of gang? You're, uh, it's ludicrous. There is also always the catch-all or other provisions to, to uh, catch others. But I'm saying, sir, these are upstanding citizens. They love to congregate and associate themselves in, in their motorcycle club. They visit, they visit schools. They, they, they are welcomed into schools. In fact, I welcomed a whole big group of the, the South Island tour, sir, going into a public hospital. And far from uh, having people actually sort of uh, thinking, oh, these people uh, are intimidate. They, they look, there's a lot of Maoris with, with big leather jackets and big, big insignia on them. They, um, they were welcomed and they were treated as real heroes because that, they're doing good work. And all I'm saying, sir, is that that makes a mockery of this piece of legislation. The fact that a big Maori man, he may even have a tāmoko, he may even have a tāmoko, because he's wearing a, 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 a leather jacket with insignias all over it and, and, and writing a motorcycle club MC chapter from, from wherever part of region they come from, they automatically come within the profile and the ambit of this legislation, sir, of this ridiculous bill. They do. It doesn't matter that they're not on the list. They potentially fall within the ambit of what a person, a member of the public, and it would be a waste of time. It would be an absolute waste of, 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 of taxpayers' money and time for uh, uh, the police to be called up to rush along to the hospital or school where, where uh, this chapter of this motorcycle club are, are, are uh, revving up their engines uh, and then they'd have to say, well, uh, is this uh, so-called group uh, within the definition of gang, within this prohibition of gang insignia? And if so, we will have to require those, those uh, gentlemen on those, or those thugs on those motorbikes to uh, remove their, their jackets and in, any other memorabilia that they have. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's an absolutely stupid piece of legislation because it's already covered by existing provisions elsewhere. And the other thing, sir, I just want to um, make my, my concluding remarks, sir, because the, this, this legislation is already, it's order. already dealt with. Order, order. Thank you. I have, I have people on my right and my left who are interjecting on each other. It's not permitted. Thank they you, want sir. to take a call? They're welcome. Oh, to I'm just concluding, sir. Reno but, to cut. Sir, I hope I've highlighted regardless of the so-called prescribed... I'm looking at the list of prescribed gangs here, and I, I don't see um, bloods or crips. I mean, bloods or crips are the two most sort of... I mean, I, I, mean, I didn't even... I'm not a, I wasn't a wayward person, but bloods and crips are not even mentioned. Order, I have just cautioned the House. They're not even mentioned in this, this, this bill, sir. So, I mean, how comprehensive is it? it? You cannot prescribe all those situations, but you can include a whole bunch of innocent, upstanding, absolutely heroic people who are doing a lot of good work and who like to associate uh, and ride motorbikes or wear their, wear their insignias and, and do good things in the community. But, and potentially, they are impacted by this bill. And lastly, sir, I just want to make this point. You go into a doctor's surgery, you see a young whānau, you see a mongrel mob uh, man, and how do you know that? He's wearing his red T-shirt and he's got it stamped on his face. How can you tell that person to remove himself because his, uh, his gang signature, insignia is tattooed onto his face? And that happens to a high proportion of the gang members. Um, what, what's the situation there? Do they have to remove themselves? Do they have to cover themselves while they're attending to their sick children, uh, waiting in the doctor's surgery so they can actually get their child attended to? It's, it's, a, it's a ridiculous piece of legislation, sir. Um, 
I regret that it's uh, having to waste parliamentary time and resources, and uh, I definitely oppose it. I call the Honourable Member Ian McKelvey. Thank you, Mr Chair. <laughs> Mr Chair, I can't believe...